I get asked loads of questions, whatever happened to the small V12 engine. That was gonna go in the GTO, which is now red. And let's get into what the problems were and why it didn't get finished. So the idea was based around using 12 of these or stripping them of the parts. This is a clone Honda 25cc four stroke overhead cam engine, which is used on a lot of small uh, leaf blowers. It's normally got lots of red covers over it uh, and brush cutters. And what I decided to do was take all the cranks apart. So I bought all of the bits for enough engines, lots of crank cases, and then took the cranks apart, machined them, let's just cut off, machined them so that they were like this, so they fitted together, a bit like Lego really. And then I made this crankshaft using longer gudgeon pins, the original main bearing bearings, the original com rods and bearings, and the block, which is not really a block at all, it's laser cut, eight millimeter alloy sheet. And one of the problems I thought about is its complexity and trying to package it in such a small size. So when you take one of these, really you're looking at a V6 for that kind of size engine. So it meant scaling down this crankcase into the bits that I actually wanted to use, which was the bore and the valve train, and then cutting the camshaft lobe out of the original drive, like this, and mounting it on a shaft, running it through a needle roller bearing so that it would still operate on these rockers as it rotates it obviously pushes the rockers up and down which in turn opens and closes the valves and yeah one thing I was worried about was the torque because these engines are rated at one and a half to two horsepower if you've got 12 of them you've got quite a lot of power and quite a lot of torque and I was worried that the crank was just going to spin these are press fit, tooth hour press fit on each joint. And by the time you get to the end output, say with a clutch, you would have quite a lot of torque being put through these last few um, mating surfaces. Anyway, so I thought I'd just get it running and see how it runs as a like a static display engine. So that's what I'm gonna do here. These are the main bearing caps and reinforcing ribs for the support of the main bearings in the block. Uh, these are the top surfaces of the block and also the lower section because the um, bore here, this will drop through each section. And these need to be mounted quite close together, which is why I had to do so much thinning off of the fins. And also as a static engine or static display engine that runs, so we won't have to worry so much about oil feed because um, these are all roller bearings and closing everything up so it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a test engine to see if i can get it to work i have lots of bits tiny little pistons um lots of bits left over from where i've pulled the crank start into the spare bits because i i think i bought enough for 20 engines so i could do a v12 and also a flat six for the porsche at one point might still do a flat six um but 
let's get on. So first job that I need to continue doing with this is finish off machining these main caps. So these are just rough cut from the laser cutters. So you need milling off, holes drilling uh, and machining so that they're square. I'm going to stack these all together and bore them for the main bearings and then bolt a rod through all of them stacked into place in the block so that it holds it together and I'll build the block up in sections from these main caps. Um, so hopefully it should stay square. Might have to re-line bore once it's welded don't really know what's going to happen because I've never done anything like this before. I don't think anyone else has made an engine block from sheet cut um, alloy. But always the first time. Obviously, when you machine a block, you start off with a big piece of alley and you end up with very little of it left by the time you've hollowed everything out. So I'm doing the reverse of that, starting with the minimum and putting it together. Um, to form a rigid structure. Right, let's get on and machine the rest of these. I've got three that I've machined. So I've got another five to do, I think. Four even, that's right, yeah. Seven, seven main bearings. Yeah, four to do. Let's go on and do those. the caps just machine this surface and this surface of all of them just machining that face and that face on these using a boring head to run through each main cap uh, divider just to get it up to the correct size for the bearing. Okay, that's those bored to the right size. Next job is to find a bit of 32 mil bar or turn some down so that I can bolt all these together to match these main bearings and then start welding the block together. That is gonna be the next episode. Thanks for watching.